we are going to continue talking about solving quadratic equations using square roots. Once again, this is the general form of a quadratic equation, ax squared plus bx plus c equals zero. But when b equals zero, I do not have a variable to the first. In this case, I can isolate my squared term and use the square root property, or take the square root of both sides. I have the equation 5 times x squared plus 1 equals 4 times x squared plus 20 plus 6. I need to begin by using distributive property and simplifying each side. I have some like terms on the right side. I will combine those. 80 plus 6 is 86. And now each side is simplified. I do have x squareds. I do know this is a quadratic equation. I do not have any variables to the first. So I can solve this using the square root property. Let's combine our squared terms. I will do this by subtracting 4x squared from each side. 5x squared minus 4x squared is just x squared. In order to isolate the squared term, I will need to subtract 5 from both sides. x squared equals 81. The squared term is by itself. It is isolated. I can now take the square root of each side. The square root of x squared is x. And remember, when you take the square root of both sides, your answer is plus or minus, and the square root of 81 is 9 x equals plus or minus 9. Let's keep working. 3x squared equals 16. This is a quadratic equation. I see my squared term. I do not have a variable to the first. I can use the square root property. Isolate your squared term. It is being multiplied by 3. The opposite of multiply by 3 is to divide by 3. x squared equals 16 over 3. I can now take the square root of both sides. x will equal plus or minus. Now this is the square root of 16 over the square root of 3. And the square root of 16 is just 4. So this will be 4 over the square root of 3. I do have a radical in the denominator. I need to rationalize that denominator. In order to rationalize the denominator, I will multiply the numerator and the denominator by the square root of 3. Don't forget that plus or minus. In the numerator, I will have 4 square root of 3. In the denominator, the square root of 3 times the square root of 3, it is the square root of 9, which is just 3. x is equal to plus or minus 4 radical 3, all of that over 3. You could also see that as plus or minus 4 thirds radical 3. Let's try one more problem. 5 halves b squared minus 2 equals 4. I only have the squared variable. I do not have a variable to the first power, so I will use the square root property. Let's isolate this b squared. I will add 2 to both sides. Now b squared is multiplied by 5 halves. You could solve this a couple of different ways. 
I will just simply multiply both sides by 2 and then divide by 5. I now have b squared equals to 12 fifths. I have isolated the b squared. I will take the square root of both sides. The square root of b squared is just b. Don't forget, when you take the square root of both sides, be sure to put your plus or minus. And the square root of 12 fifths. I need to do a little simplifying there. The square root of 12 can be written as a square root of 4 times the square root of 3, and that is over the square root of 5. And the square root of 4 is just 2. And now I need to rationalize the denominator. So I will multiply the numerator and the denominator by the square root of 5. In the numerator, I will have two square roots of 15. In the denominator, I will have the square root of 5 times the square root of 5, which is just 5. B will equal plus or minus 2 radical 15, all of that over 5.